What's up everybody? Nice to see you back. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Today we will continue with the last video which we discussed on 5 amazing tips to deal with negative influences or difficult planets or difficult events in astrology what to do. And today we will discuss on some practical astrological remedies which we can do astrological remedies means some other practical remedies which we can uh, put into usage by seeing the horoscope all right so if you have not watched the earlier video then please go and watch it's just above this video in this same playlist so please watch that otherwise you may not be understanding what i'm speaking here and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it <laughs> and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and share it with those people who think that they cannot do anything with their karma all right let us begin by taking the oath as always god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you counter the difficult positions of the chart well one of the most difficult positions that i have seen people getting bogged with is the conjunction of saturn and venus and yes there are pages written in the web uh, web pages of astrologers of some so called typical modern astrologers which try to say that oh there's nothing negative there's nothing positive now everything is just a part of life so if you go to the pages of such astrologers then when you find conjunctions or descriptions of conjunctions like saturn and venus then they will say that oh this is not a bad combination this is good combination this is uh, this makes you very practical in relationships this makes you this this makes you that well maybe that that is true i am not criticizing them or i am not denigrating them but saturn is a natural malefic irrespective of you are a capricorn ascendant or you are a taurus ascendant or you are a libra ascendant or an aquarius or a gemini or virgo saturn with venus when conjunct it will give a blow to venus <laughs> irrespective of the sign even if both are in libra where venus is in multricorn and saturn is in exaltation even if this is happening in kendra where there is the formation of one of the Pancha Mahapurush Yogas by Venus and the other by Saturn. But then the question is what to do if you have that conjunction or even if uh, Venus Saturn are in mutual aspect. Number one thing we should do is these are the remedies. Number one thing is make sure that the girl who you marry suppose this is the chart of a male or let me generalize it if it is for uh, male or a female all right what to do if this yoga is there then make sure you do not get married early all right so when i say early don't take me as 19 20 21 <laughs> best if, if you can get married after 28 and it is even further better if you can get married after 32 especially if these two are conjunct all right because Saturn is workload and responsibility. So unless you become settled in your career and your life purpose, career doesn't mean only your livelihood for money, your dharma basically, what you want to do in life. Figure it out, have a purpose first and then only you get into marriage. Not before 32. Strong committed relationships may be difficult before 28 at least. Or Ideally it should be 32 but at least before 28 you try to avoid getting into some strong very well committed funded relationships because then saturn represents tears you might face tears what is uh, number two the second thing that you can do is if saturn and venus are conjunct in your horoscope you must make sure that you do not marry a person who is extremely flamboyant or extremely attractive should i repeat <laughs> <laughs> make sure you do not marry somebody who is extremely beautiful or extremely handsome or extremely out of the world very flamboyant very attractive 
Now you may say why? Because see, whenever Saturn is aspecting Venus, it means or it is conjunct. That means Saturn will try to impose the traits which it represents to Venus. Now what does Saturn represent? Saturn represents also indifference. Saturn also represents insult. All right. So if you do not so for suppose for some example uh, for if you suppose you marry a person who is very attractive all right then what you are doing is because saturn is the opposite of attraction it represents dullness it represents old age okay so if you are not paying heed to all those traits of saturn then what will happen is saturn will force its other traits into you should I repeat? It will force the other traits into you. Which simply means that suppose there is a man and he marries a girl who is extremely beautiful. Then later on he may find that this girl, his so-called wife or supposedly his wife <laughs> who he got married, he, uh, this, this girl will not give much importance to this husband. She will behave as if he doesn't exist. She will behave as if she is very independent. Suppose she wants to go somewhere, she will not even tell her husband. And then you can, uh, then then you ask her that, my dear, where are you going? So, oh, I am going to Paris for holiday with my friends. Oh, but I am your husband. You didn't tell me. Oh, I I don't feel it's important to let you know. Yes, they will behave like this. <laughs> they may they may behave depending on the severity. So now, does it mean that you go to a uh, you go to a leprosy uh, hospital and you pick up somebody who has leprosy? No, I don't mean that. But what I am saying is, when Saturn and Venus are having associations in your chart, for the sake of the heavens, please do not go on looks. Please don't do that. <laughs> I am not saying that you go and marry a girl who looks ugly, or you go and marry uh, a husband who a boy who is not very attractive to look i'm not saying that but if that is your only criteria you will definitely suffer you take it in writing from me i have seen people again and again and again because then what will happen your opposite sex the other party will keep telling oh look uh, i am so beautiful that person is beautiful no, he or she may not tell you directly but they will convey it through your uh, subtle through their subtle actions but suppose you marry somebody who is not that great to look. Whose photo when you look you don't say, Wow, such a good looking girl, such a handsome man. You may not say like that. <laughs> but at least the marriage will sustain. <laughs> Which one would you prefer? Getting divorced with a great looking partner after one year. Or having a sustained long time committed relationship with a person who is not that very, very great to look. Because see, anyways, the beauty will fade off after some time. Now again, I'm not saying that don't give weightage to beauty. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, don't make that your prime criteria or even the topmost criteria. If that is, well, you will suffer. I'm telling you. You will suffer, I'm telling you. Irrespective of other combinations, even if Jupiter is aspecting or sitting with Saturn Venus, you will still suffer. I have seen people. Do not neglect the conjunction of Saturn Venus. What is another thing which you can do for Saturn Venus conjunctions? The next thing that you can do is make sure that the girl or the boy who you marry is not from a very high family status than yours. Because Saturn represents poverty. Now poverty doesn't mean that you marry a beggar. It simply means that you uh, marry somebody who is of a lesser status than you who is not uh, who is not very uh, who is not like the king the son <laughs> because then what happens then you are not paying heed to this conjunction then what will happen is you will uh, go and marry somebody suppose there is a boy who has this conjunction and he marries a girl who is like much much higher in education and in family status than him then what will happen is because Saturn also represents uh, what you say in Hindi, Tana Marana. <laughs> I don't know the uh, English translation for Tana. What is Tana? Tana, 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 Tana. Tana is 
is it tantrums no tantrums is nakhre tana marna what does it say <laughs> maybe i'll figure it out as i keep saying in the video so uh, she will uh, keep saying to you always oh look i am from this family my father is that my grandfather is that and then you'll be frustrated why did i marry this girl she loves her grandfather more than me <laughs> well then you will suffer she will only be throwing her tantrums on you i will not do this i'll not do that it's not going to work out now that doesn't mean you go and marry a beggar i didn't say that <laughs> what i said is be very realistic all right and another thing you can do is when saturn venus is conjunct Uh, be very realistic when you uh, approach your marriage for example if you know that okay i am having this level of education i am average in looks all right which most of the people are not everybody is a uh, cinema star and not everybody is having a masters or phd degree from some university like oxford or cambridge or mit <laughs> and not everybody is very popular not everybody is the son of a minister or a you know, not everybody is maybe like sachin tendulkar <laughs> so be very realistic when you are searching a partner all right and also make sure another thing that you can do is make sure that uh, if possible you marry somebody who is of a higher age than you even if you are a boy marry a girl who is elder to you because if you marry a young beautiful little girl she may come and tell you you are not good enough <laughs> and then you will not like to hear all those things yes so whenever there is saturn venus linked understand that saturn will play its role so before saturn forces you you only go and bow in front of saturn and you tell yes my dear sir you wanted me to bow i am buying bowing in front of you i am not marrying the most beautiful girl of the college no i am marrying the most handsome boy i am not marrying the most richest person i am being very realistic normal i am a normal human being. go 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 and pray pray to saturn that see i am a normal human being i am also marrying another normal person who is like average like me she has a reasonable good educa- education reasonable good looks reasonable good money she is earning reasonable family status be very reasonable be very practical be very realistic be very grounded be very down to earth and behave properly for god's sake if you behave with arrogance saturn doesn't like the sun sun shows ego so if you behave like that then she will rip you apart she or he <laughs> so be very realistic and know what to expect all right and also do uh, good actions on fridays by that your saturn venus conjunction will improve and always remember saturn will give its effects irrespective of even if both are sitting in pisces if you think you can run away by doing remedies or by hearing lectures of some astrologers who say no 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 everything is positive then i'm warning you i have seen time and again this yoga gives effects please do not ignore this all right so get married late as much as possible after 32 preferably or at least after 28 and be very realistic when you choose the partner all right now another conjunction this is just another uh, one example which i give you saturn venus now the conjunction can be uh, sun and saturn if this conjunction is there make sure if you are in a business with your father you do not sit in the same office because otherwise then uh, you may have difficulties with your father if this conjunction is there in your chart or even in your father's chart that will affect all right and if there is moon saturn conjunction okay then make sure that you do not insult your mother any time make sure that you be very realistic about your mother realistic means if you have some expectations then it's better you go and <laughs> ask her that uh these these are my expectations will this be fulfilled and be very realistic whenever it comes to emotions especially moon saturn i have seen otherwise you will have a difficult time you are thinking oh maybe i should get this from this person he or she should emotionally support me but the person is not doing so be very realistic when you talk of emotions always give priority to practicality more than emotions all right by that you will be reasonably happy i am not saying you will not be sad but you can reduce your sa- sadness by that okay that is one thing you can do and be very careful when you do business regarding uh 
milk or liquids or water these kind of things okay and then which are other conjunctions for example if there's venus rahu conjunction it is recommended that you go and preferably marry somebody who is of a different caste creed gender religion because then rahu also so uh, signifies cheating yes bigotry and all these things so better than rahu activating himself you only go and activate rahu <laughs> if rahu is in the 7th house or it is with venus especially yes then you can uh, go and find people from a different religion altogether the f the more the difference the more the better it is okay i am not saying different community also because in india there are thousands and millions of communities this group that group i am directly telling you okay in india you can take largely different communities for different religions also for example if you are born in assam and if somebody is from south india even though you are hindus but it's like complete yin yang <laughs> so that also you can do all right and especially if there are uh, different other difficult conjunctions like venus and ketu conjunction i have seen that please for god's sake do not choose your partner <laughs> <laughs> because you don't know how to choose because ketu is that headless planet it is telling venus silly you are also headless so you will make such blunders my god people will come and tell you how could you do that how can you marry this person and then you will have no support so when you have venus ketu conjunction for god's sake please 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 take advice of other people when you are finalizing your marriage including astrologers and all these things please don't hurry <laughs> all right so these are some examples by which you can practically uh, mitigate different yogas now another example which i will give is suppose venus is placed in the 6th house now 6th house is a very difficult position for venus because that's the house of distress so when venus sits there the person who is supposed to give you uh, happiness becomes the one who gives you distress all right now what to do if venus is sitting in the uh, sixth house when venus sits there in the sixth house you can always go and help ladies who are in distress <laughs> you can become a divorce lawyer maybe <laughs> or or at least you can go and help those ladies who have been divorced because 6th house is the house of divorce and venus shows that some lady is getting divorced there all right so uh, th that is how you uh, deal with those difficult placements what if venus is sitting in the 12th house go and do some charity to women then that venus will not trouble you much <laughs> what if venus is sitting in the 8th house then go and help those women who have been undergoing different traumas psychological issues or you can go and give some donation to a lady psychiatrist this is a very good uh, thing which you can do and this you have to do on a regular basis every friday not that okay today i have given some donation that's it no all right so what if uh, planets like uh, mars and saturn are conjunct then what you can do is if possible i am saying you if possible try to avoid that house where they are sitting <laughs> avoid doesn't mean you run away for example if that yoga is happening in your third house because that is sangarsh yoga that's like pressing brakes and the accelerator simultaneously if that conjunction is happening in your third house it is best that you do not take much short distance travels in your life because you will encounter challenges the moment you do that and it is not very recommended that you uh, show some unnecessary courage and do things yourself because third house as they call is the house of the rambo where the person feels i can do anything in life because it's opposite of the ninth house where you say that god doesn't exist i can do whatever i want so please don't uh, try to prove yourself by doing all those you can do that but there are chances that you might your life might become hellish because that's too much of um, too much of struggle is there in that yoga all right if suppose this yoga is happening in your sixth house then for god's sake please do not take fights with people <laughs> please don't make enemies because the moment you make enemies the sixth house is the house of enemies they will rip you apart completely 
<laughs> there you understand what is the problem what if saturn rahu are conjunction conjunct number one yoga for addictions please for god's sake stay away from those friends who tell you alcohol is okay once in a while alcohol is okay ek bar sharab pee lo kuch nahi hota hai ditch them please <laughs> do not take saturn rahu for a ride they are the worst of the dreaded malefics if they want i don't know what they can do with you they can make you rags to riches and riches to rags please do not ignore these placements all right another difficult conjunction is jupiter and rahu conjunction if this is happening then what you should do always go and donate something to your gurus always do this or if jupiter is in difficult houses all right please do it <laughs> do not ignore this otherwise this will affect your children because jupiter also represents your children all right and this is how you know practically what to do in life what not to do and yes if uh, venus and rahu are also linked then also you might find people who try to give you indulgence in addictions and alcohol and getting addicted to other things like facebook or watching different uh, serials in youtube which will actually destroy you because rahu is actually representing all this politics bigotry poison pornography addiction is another thing and for pornography uh, if venus is afflicted then watching pornography will destroy your venus all right so please install the k9 software it is available for windows and for macbook also and tell your father or your mother or your elder brother somebody elder to you not your friend tell your friend to set the password it's there in google you can search k9 web protection k k for krishna <laughs> k9 9 for ninth house of god k9 web protection you can just search and you will find that and download it it's a free software use it and it will block all access to explicit content so and if you search something and tell your parents to keep reviewing reviewing it or don't tell your parents at least tell your brother because the moment they review they will see that you have searched something uh, which is having explicit sexual material so they will come to know about your activities which you would not like obviously right so uh, these are the practical tips which you can do stay away from addictions Ven uh, venus rahu especially remember once you do something you will always do it okay and please stay away from especially those group of people who give such statements to justify their sinful desires and activities like everything is okay in moderation you should try everything in life no 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 you are just justifying stop it <laughs> that's nonsense well if that is the case then let's try some poison also right but that you won't do everything in moderation that's just another way of saying that please don't disturb me right <laughs> so don't uh, destroy yourself if you have these difficult conjunctions and these are some practical astrological remedies which i have given <laughs> which you can apply and depending on other positions of your horoscope depending on other situations that is there in the horoscope which will vary as per different individuals i can suggest uh, different remedies when you approach me for consultations only okay and if you write uh in um the comments now okay i have this conjunction what should i do my saturn and venus are conjunct in the sign of capricorn what should i do i don't know what you should do that on i can only say after i see the whole horoscope okay until next time if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with people who are searching for practical astrological tips or remedies to deal with difficult planets difficult conjunctions and difficult placements as for houses and signs and afflictions in the horoscope great to see you again hope to see you the next time until next time bye bye see you